Do you think that Selena Gomez is all about drama? Then you're wrong. Because she's actually a very funny gal. Me, 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 me. And her latest project proves it. The series Only Murders in the Building is now releasing its third season. And once again, it showcases the incredible comedic chemistry between Selena and her co-stars. I was so honored to work with Steve Martin and Martin Short, especially after I googled them to find out who they were. <laughs> Although the actors are much older than her, the three of them get along really well. You know what I love about working with these guys? <laughs> no paparazzi, ever. <laughs> Steve and Martin teach her a lot of things, like what happens when you get older. Before you know it, there'll be hip replacements and then Thank you. You'll be staring off. <laughs> How to keep yourself pretty. I, I think these hearing aids make my ass look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect Pete. Or how to make sure that your fans are happy. Yes, for as I've learned from you, Marty, leave the audience wanting less. Always. And even more. And I learn a lot of important Absolutely. Like, who's president? Yeah. Things like that. <laughs> You kept saying, they, we fought Germany twice. I you know, shut we up! Win. Since they come from totally different backgrounds, Steve and Martin initially had no idea what kind of person Selena was. We don't know if she's a diva. We don't know if she's crazy. We don't know anything about her. I didn't know if Steve was alive. <laughs> <laughs> Their funny banter goes both ways. And Selena is especially good at trolling her older co-stars. Well, how did you get into collecting art? Oh, that's really, really interesting. Just look at her face here. <sighs> Plus, the actress constantly reminds Steve and Martin of their age. Selena, how much time do we have left? I don't know. With a good diet and exercise, maybe 10, 12 years. <laughs> Yet, she's also managed to teach her older colleagues a thing or two. Oh my gosh, it's not <laughs> WAP, it's WAP. But of course, their relationship isn't only about teasing each other. After all, Selena loves her co-stars. I'm surrounded by these guys who are certified legends and just, it's like a blast. And they also adore her. They'll cut to me, they cut to Marty, and then they cut to Selena and you go, aww. Aww. How sweet. But let's talk about Selena's other famous friends. And you might even be able to guess them, because she can do some awesome impressions of them. Like this one. Can you guess who it is? Of course, that's Taylor Swift. You've practiced that. You've seen that. Oh, I've seen every single one of her concerts. Well, Selena is not only Taylor's friend, she's also her biggest fan. Now let's see an impression of her other bestie. Just be yourself and have fun. <laughs> Any guesses who it is? Hell yeah, I'm Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Selena can certainly add comedian to her resume. And here's her other hidden talent. Oh, nice! But back to Selena's friends. Apart from Taylor and Miley, her BFF is Jennifer Aniston herself. Oh, God. But when Selena first met the Friends star, she reacted just like any of us would. My heart, like, stopped. And I freaked out and I ran to my mom and I was like, oh my god, I just saw Jennifer Aniston. Like, She's always been a huge fan of the show. Are you guys kidding me? Rachel was my life. Like, Tell me about it, girl. Trust us, Selena would beat any of your butts in a trivia quiz on the series. Uh, Rosita. Yeah, the gal knows her stuff. But Jennifer Aniston wasn't the only star Selena fangirled over. I met Brad Pitt. I'm great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, that giggle. But when she was younger, her type was a bit different. Did you have a crush on Cole's Yes, Brown? I did. <laughs> I love that. And my first kiss was his brother. <laughs> what? It happened on the sweet life of Zach and Cody, and young Selena actually liked that it wasn't Cole. Understandably so. I felt much better that it wasn't him because I think I would have probably been an idiot. Even her first ever starring role in Wizards of Waverly Place was so relatable. Do you remember Alex Russo? That gal was everything. Oh my gosh, someone sent me flowers. I wonder who it could be. Me! <laughs> Truly, Selena has come a long way since that show. 
And during lockdown, she even launched her own cooking show. In fact, it wasn't a surprising decision as she's a huge foodie. Oh, oh no! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like pasta? Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with pasta. I could have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Since she's an unexperienced chef, Selena had her mishaps in the kitchen, like when she got into an avocado incident. Self getting real cold. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Had trouble with the pressure cooker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just spaced out at times. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fork left hand, spoon right hand made some dad jokes. You're strong. Do you eat spinach? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate you. And on many other occasions. What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm always a Selena mess. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest episode for Gomez was probably the one with the great and terrible Gordon Ramsay. She could hardly function under his strict supervision. Furthest one away means the furthest one away. Lay away. Like That's this. it. Uh, wrong. Man. Right. Furthest pan away! What are you doing wrong again? The, the second one. Okay, next one in. Next oh one. God. Oh my god. And it didn't end there. And a touch of butter into your potatoes. Okay, put the butter and some potatoes. Who told me you were this bad? Selena! Yes. Oh. Say! Oh, I know. But even Gordon Ramsay couldn't help falling in love with her. Oh my god, I'm sorry! And eventually, she managed to impress him with her cooking. That is beautiful. Yeah! After three seasons of the show, Selena's skills got much better. Yeah, go for it. Yeah! I am on fire! It was also fun to see more of Selena's family. For example, the star's granddad, aka Papa, became a fan favorite because of his kind teasing. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> and she teased him a lot, too. You don't know how to do it. You, out of all people, don't know how to do something. Here's something else you might have missed. One of the chefs asked Selena an interesting question. If she had to describe herself as a food, what would it be? I think I'm a jalapeno. Some bites can be all right, and then some bites are like, whoa. <laughs> There's definitely some truth in that. But even with all her spiciness, Selena barely uses any bad language. Uh, I can't say cuss words. But she has her weaknesses, just like all of us. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I know, I keep saying that. <laughs> her friends got fed up with it, so they made her an okie dokie jar. They said that word is over, so every time I use oh. it, I have to put a dollar in there. <laughs> At the same time, Selena knows her worth. Even if she gets scared. It's just, it's nice. Ah! or if she smashes a raw egg on her head, she remains self-assured. This is so, so sexy. <laughs> Isn't that the confidence we all need? There's no embarrassing me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but Selena hasn't always been so poised. Surprisingly, she used to hate her voice because it seemed too low. But with time, the star came to terms with it, and now she isn't afraid of making it even lower. I fell into a burning ring of fire. <laughs> or higher. But she still doesn't know how to react to compliments like this one. Your voice is indescribably sexy. Really? Yes. Wow. Well, it's a fact. These days, Selena doesn't fear anything or anyone. She doesn't care about body shamers, haters, or a fire in her own kitchen. Oh, oh my god. There's a god blow. God blow. <laughs> what? The actress cares even less about the endless dating rumors. I'm totally fine being <laughs> single. It's a real thing. It's fine. <laughs> and what makes her so funny is her readiness to goof around and laugh at herself. In fact, Selena even knows how to turn her mistakes into viral videos. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. My name? My name is Bella Hadid. And her challenges into positive experiences. For example, did you know this story? 
I got a kidney transplant a couple of years ago, and as a way of coping, I thought I would name it. That's weird, I know, but I did, and I named it after Fred Arms. Wait, what? Because I love Portlandia, and I love everything he does, <laughs> and so what I'm... <laughs> you might be wondering if the actor even knows about this honor, and he actually does. Yeah, he sent me flowers. I was so excited. Is that right? Did he really? Well, wouldn't you be thrilled to learn that this lady named her kidney after you? Okay, that's enough Selena for you today. And if it's not, check out what else we have about her on Asa. Thanks for this YouTube video of me.